Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Target shop with me. Target has put a bunch of new products out in the beauty section, especially perfumes. I think they did like a whole reset of that area so literally all the perfume brands have new scents and you guys know I've been talking like crazy about the new finery fragrances. So I am going to just go over those quickly too in this video but I do have a full video on those as well. Plus there is so many more new scents that I haven't covered yet and lots of new makeup showing up in a store so I figured today we could just do a beauty themed Target video just so it's not too long because I know they have a lot of new spring accessories clothing shoes snacks all of that too and I would love to know if you guys would like to see a separate video on that stuff because yeah they just got like all their new swimwear in and yeah all their new spring clothes kind of resort beachy stuff so let me know if that is something you would like to see and we can film that in the next week or so but I thought today we would just focus on the beauty section so let's go ahead to Target and I'm going to show you everything that's new. All right guys so we're in fragrance and there's a ton of new launches happening from Fine they have a ton of stuff. I originally thought there was just going to be three new ones, but there's actually a lot more. So you guys probably saw my video with the Pistachio Please and also the new Rouge, but look at all of these. So they actually added a lot more. We have the Without a Trace, which has Neroli Blossom, Cedarwood, and Suede Musk. I know for sure this is a dupe for Fleur's Missing Person. It's a really nice, clean skin scent. I thought this one was actually really strong. I actually bought that one because um, I found it. The other day we have this one called madam and this has cream de cassis velvet oris and patchouli born to impress is another new one with pink rhubarb damask rose and cypress wood there's a few more new ones down here we have this mysterious nomad which is bergamot black pepper and hinoki wood also mystic figures this one smells so familiar i cannot put my finger on it i have to keep kind of trying it this is mediterranean fig Ocean Air and Salted Sage. And then Pistachio Please, we've gone over this one. This one I think is a dupe for Sol de Janeiro's original 62 cent. It has pistachio, milk, fluffy vanilla, and tonka bean. And then the new rouge is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge, which has golden saffron, amber resin, and a sandalwood. So those are all the new ones. They still have some of the classics mixed in. There's a few more of the classics up here but I wanted to go over these since they're like fully stocked with the perfumes for $29.99 and the mists, which are $14.99. So I'm gonna pick up a couple more mists. <laughs> like I have almost the whole collection now. They have a new sampler too, which has without a trace pistachio please. And then the new rouge for the new ones. And then for the older ones, it has sweet on the outside and not another cherry. So that set is $21.99. But yeah, I've been loving kind of trying these, seeing what they're dupes for. So I'm definitely going to pick up, I think, these two for sure. And then we do have a new Essence from Mix Bar 2. There's just two in the line. I did talk about the Passion Fruit Nectar. I did buy this one and it's so good. It's really super sweet and juicy fruity. I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend that one for just a nice fruity spring fragrance. It comes in the Perfume for $19.99 and also the Mist for $9.99. And then this is their Salt Petals, which I haven't seen yet. This is my first time seeing that one. Let's see what the notes are. Does it say? Oh, I just realized these have scratch and sniff on them too. Plus they have the testers out, which is nice. This has watery florals, amber woods with a sea salt twist. So definitely more of an aquatic scent. So again, that one's $19.99 and they do have the hair and body mist for $9.99. I did smell it, it's okay. I'm definitely more of a fan of the passion fruit nectar. Good Chemistry also has a new perfume launch, of course. If you haven't tried their stuff, they have a pretty good array of fragrances. I love their Coffee Cloud. It's similar to Ariana Grande's Cloud, and then their Sugarberry kind of smells like pink sugar. But their new scent is called Unknown Legend that just launched. Looks like they have the mist, which looks like a little chemistry bottle, the perfume as well, and the mini size. I think this one's gonna be a pass for me. It smells good, but it's just not a love. Um, I'm trying to find the notes on this one. It has eucalyptus, violet leaf, and charcoal santel. It's another kind of skin scent. They only have one left of the perfume, or maybe they just haven't stocked it yet, but it's just fine to me, a little more fresh. 
but not love for sure. They also have a bunch of new Pacifica perfumes plus some redesigns on some of their classics. Let's see, this passion fruit looks like a new one. Silver Moon is really pretty. I like the new packaging a lot. This is a really nice vanilla and almond scent. The Beach Day is definitely a new one. Indian Coconut Nectar is a classic one from them, as well as Island Vanilla. So pretty. And then Montana Sky must be new, and Dream Moon I think they've had before. But yeah, all these come in, looks like the perfumes for $26.99. There's also Hair and Body Mist, which is new, all new packaging. So yeah, I might have to see if I like any of these newer scents here. It's nice that they have all the testers. The Beach Day perfume is definitely very unexpected. It smells good though. It's another kind of almost sandalwood. Not super tropical, which is surprising. The Montana Sky is a no for me. It kind of smells peppery, but passion fruit is really juicy and yummy. Okay, we have even more fragrance. He must have just been done like a huge fragrance reset or something, but I feel like all these brands have new scents. And being Frenchy, which is Ashley Tisdale's line, has a new fragrance. And they also came out with new perfumes too. So this is their new scent called a Palo Santo Sage, which I think is coming in a few different things. Everything seems to be a little out of order right now but they do have the perfume they also have the body mist too and this definitely smells very sandalwoody it's not really my vibe so I'm probably not gonna pick this one up but it's very sandalwood kind of skin type of scent which I guess a lot of people do enjoy it's just not for me but I do feel like it is very unisex there is a candle in it as well but I saw they also had the perfume in the Lavender Cloud, so I'm wondering if it's coming in everything. I love the Lavender Cloud one, so I might pick this one up. It's like a sugary lavender, it's very good. Let me put this back, but my favorite from them is the Cashmere Vanilla, but yeah, I'm not sure if that's coming in the perfume. And I don't even know how much this is, because I don't even think it's actually set out yet, but I think I'll pick this up for now, because I love the body mist, but if it comes in a perfume, I would much rather have the perfume just to last a little bit longer, so super excited about that. And one more new fragrance, the Beloved line has a new scent out. I know they had a fun, I think it was a strawberry one during the beginning of the year, but this is their newest for spraying the Jasmine and Orchid Dew. Very, very floral. It's not my vibe, at least the candle is what I smelled. Yeah, I don't know, not my vibe, but we can't love it all, right? This just says it has jasmine flower and refreshing orchid too. It doesn't really say much else for notes, but it does come in the candle, the cream, the sprite, and also the shower gel. I usually like their stuff, um, and if I find a scent I like, I'll usually pick up like a cream. But yeah, that one's not really, not, I'm not really feeling that one. Okay, I saw a TikTok on, I don't know if it was any of these. It was like a sleep one from this brand which I think is by Kourtney Kardashian, but this is the Lemmy Chill De-Stress Gummies. I guess the brand is Lemmy, so kind of a fun play on words. They have the Lemmy Glow Hair Skin and Nail Gummies and the Lemmy Deep Blow ones. But yeah, I guess they don't have the sleep ones, which I was so curious about, but someone said that they worked really, really well. So I'm curious if they will get these in, but maybe I would try the other ones too since the sleep ones seem to work. But I always have trouble falling asleep. I just cannot shut my brain off. Okay, checking out makeup. I was looking at the ColourPop section. I think most of the stuff we've definitely seen here. I don't know if they've had their ultra matte lips, but they definitely carry just a lot of their regular line, plus the classic palettes that they do have here. But I haven't seen these serum sticks here before. From the 4-3 line, we have the A-List Babe, which has vitamin A. The Ego Boost has vitamin C. And then we also have the Selfie Ready, which is a pore refining serum stick with niacinamide. So that looks kind of fun. It looks like they also have a dewy one too that they haven't put out yet. The Do Over, which is the blue one. They also have a bunch of their blush sticks, highlight sticks, and bronzer sticks too here. Which I don't know if those have been here or not. I have not checked out this section in a while. I did see though that Makeup Revolution has their Emily in Paris collection here in store, which is kind of fun. They did send this over. So let me know if you guys want a video on it. It is really cute. I don't know, I feel like they've done two of these now. And I don't know if this is a brand new one or if it's just one of their other ones that they've come out with. But this is so cute. It has the Champagne lip balm. I miss this show so much. I hope it comes on soon, but it's probably not for like a year. A bunch of different lipsticks, lip and cheek blushes, 
This is a cute little, it looks like a highlight palette. Really cute packaging. And then the eyeshadow palette, I like the tones in this. They also have some blotting papers in the shape of a little camera, a cute little houndstooth bag, some brushes, and then I think this is the big, very colorful palette. I don't know, that's a little too colorful for me. It's in the shape of Eiffel Tower, I think. I really like this mini palette though, but yeah, let me know if you guys want a video testing this stuff out. It looks like they're getting all the new drugs for makeup too, or just putting it out. Like they have the Revlon stuff, and then I saw the CoverGirl foundation. I haven't seen this in any stores. So they have the CoverGirl Essence with the little bursting beads. I did review this one and I didn't love it for oily skin, but a lot of people really do like it. Um, $15.99 here, which is cheaper than what I paid. I think I paid $18 at Ulta. But it looks like they have a limited amount of stock. But it is here if you're looking for it. They also have um, a new cover girl. We got brow pencils. I did review these. I really like them. The It's called Clean Fresh Brow. Really nice micro point on it. And they also have this one, which is a little more angled. But it's called a pomade pencil. So I think that one's supposed to give even more kind of color and not be as precise. And then they do have the Brow Enhancer Clear Gel Wax too, which we did test out. Not sure how I feel about this one still. I didn't think it was my fave. I didn't think it worked that well, but I really do like this micro brow pencil a lot. Also found a few of the CoverGirl lip stains to the Outlast lip stains. I'm pretty sure this is the new ones. I should try one and see, but it looks like a little felt tip pen. But I feel like I've seen pretty decent reviews on these so far. It looks like they have a few different shades in for $8.99. This natural blush shade looks pretty. I feel like it's always fun to get a darker color with a lip stain since it doesn't budge as much. But yeah, I've never really seen like a felt tip pen lip stain like that. But that's kind of what it looks like on, so they look pretty bright. It looks like Physicians Formula is just starting to put out some new things. I don't think they have the full collection, but I did see they had their diamond filler uh, blush, liquid blushes that are very new. So they had um, the Brilliant Peach one and also the Radiant Pink. For $13.49. I do have one of these that I need to try out and see how I like it. I've never tried this diamond filler line. And then these are new to the Diamond Perfector BB creams. Only a few shades. There's some down here too, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit more luminous. It kind of reminds me of like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I feel like a lot of people are trying to dupe that right now. But yeah, Physicians Formula has always kind of sucked with shades. It's $14.49. It says it's a 10-in-1 Skin Perfector BB Cream. I don't think they have the liquid contours out yet, so those are probably coming, but I did see they are starting to put out their butter lips, which they're kind of a mess right now, but these are actually kind of nice. Looks like a squeezy tube lip balm, but it's like a plastic tube. It's so interesting. I have one of these too that I need to try on camera too, so I should do a testing new drugstore makeup soon. But yeah, they have a few shades in these. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know if they just haven't put them out or what the deal is. But it's supposed to come in this Pink Radiant, the Pink Paradise, and the Brazilian Berry. Of course, the e.l.f. stuff we've already gone over like the beginning of the year. But we've went over the camo blushes, the lip oils, the mascara, and all of that. So they haven't added anything new yet. So they still don't have like the plump gloss sticks yet. But I believe they probably will be coming. At least I know I saw them coming to Walmart soon. L'Oreal has their True Match Concealers here. That's their, I think, newest launch. I don't think they have anything else that we haven't seen yet besides like the Panorama Mascara is new, but we've seen those like in the beginning of the year as well. So they're not like super new and exciting. And then Revlon has their serums here too that they're just putting out it looks like. Uh, so they're finally getting their serum tints. I like this tint a lot. It is very, very natural on the skin, but it wears pretty well throughout the day. It has SPF 15. These though, I did not like the gel serum blushes. There's supposed to be a few shades, but so far, I think they're just starting to put this stuff out, but these were patchy and just not great. They're starting to set the new Milani stuff, but it looks like they haven't got everything in yet, but they are adding in the lip stains here, the hydrating lip stains, which will be here. These are actually going viral right now. I do have a couple at home I need to test out for you. They're pretty nice. They're like a comfortable lip stain and not too dry. And then they're also adding in the cream bronzers down here, which they have four shades coming very soon, which is a pretty good cream 
drugstore bronzer option. It looks just like the blushes, but obviously in bronzer tones, which the blushes are such a good formula too. So it looks like I'm like a little early and just catching all this stuff um, right as they set it out or about to set it out. I know Pacifica dropped these, the Sunny Glow Bronzing Drops. I feel like their section is looking a little sad. They might have other new stuff too, but I know for sure these are because everyone's trying to dupe the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. So I think this is supposed to be similar. I did order these, so I will try them out and see how it is. But I do like bronzing drops, especially for like summer or when you don't want to wear like a full foundation. Um, if you have self tan on these are really nice there is a lighter and a deeper shade in these too these are $15.99 how cute is this I didn't know that Sally Hansen did a kisses Hershey's kisses collaboration this is for Easter it says you had me at kisses and it comes with a silver and a blue oh, that's adorable it looks like the cookies and cream one and then there is some different shades of course and they all say kisses on them just inspired by like the foiled wrappers which is cool and then some fun pastels these are $5.99 each oh, it makes me wish that I painted my nails but currently I get them done here's like a perfect Hershey's chocolate brown that is adorable. Now this is very interesting, but Olive and June is doing a collaboration with Colleen Hoover, which is one of my favorite authors. Her books definitely got me back into reading. So this is actually so cool to see. But yeah, they have a collab. They have some different press on nail designs. This definitely looks like some of her book covers. Like this looks like It Ends With Us, which is one of my favorites. There's this beautiful kind of chrome burgundy berry shade. We have these heart press ons. There's this fun kind of color black swirl design, another chrome. I'm noticing they've been coming out with a lot of chromes for spring. We got some really pretty daisies, just a pearl chrome. This is a cute swirl design with rainbows. How pretty. So they have a ton of different ones in this collection. There's even more down here. And all of these have like different lengths, short, medium. Sometimes they have extra short as well which they have decent press-ons. They're not my favorite of all time. My favorite is the Glamnetic, but these are like half the price of that. They also have polished duos as well in the collection with some different colors, which they have really good lasting polishes I really like. So we have this like orange and purple. We have this blue and hot pink. This is a really pretty. There's like a pearl and then a mint green. And then we also have this pink and berry. And you can also do nail stickers as well so a very fun very unexpected collaboration but I haven't seen anyone show this yet so that's super exciting. Tree Hug came out with a new dragon fruit body scrub. It does smell very good very fruity um, this is like the Target exclusive I think but they also got the other like Ulta ones like the rainbow sherbet is here and the sun kissed poppy as well I don't see the coconut Colada one. Maybe they didn't get that one in. I know sometimes they have different exclusive scents. The dragon fruit I think is a Target exclusive. Oh, I guess I called it a different name. So Coco Colada is their old one, but I know they have a new coconut one at Ulta. That's not here. They have a bunch of these brushes out on display here called Unbrush, which looks interesting. It says untangle, unknot, and undo. They kind of look like the wet brushes a little bit but it says it's unlike anything you've used before. So, I don't know, it's supposed to be gentle for knots and stuff. I don't know, I kind of need a new brush. Do I try it? It says you can use it on wet and dry hair. I'm very curious. Maybe I will, maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll pick it up and see what this is all about. But they do have tons of different colors. Oh, they have sparkly ones. Oh, that's pretty. I kind of want them more. <laughs> maybe I'll get the sparkly glitter pink. Can you guys believe all of that fragrance they have there? I was shocked. You know I've picked up every single finery fragrance, so I won't go over that in today's video, but the new perfume I picked up this trip was the Frenchie perfume, which I got the Lavender Cloud, and they do have the vanilla scent on the website, so I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for that, but these do look small, but there's actually a lot of product in here if I can get this lid off. There we go. So yeah, it's a full bottle, and I love this lavender scent. They have this in the mist as well, but the perfume just seems a little stronger, and it should last longer. I haven't really tested it yet, but the Lavender Cloud scent, this is not a super sweet lavender. It's very 
much like a fresh almost musky lavender and for some reason I just love this it's not my typical go-to you guys know I usually love the sweet gourmands but this one's good if you like more of the sweet scents you'll probably like their vanilla so yeah I'm, def I'm definitely gonna be picking that up but I'm excited to see new scents even though I didn't love the new launch that they had also grabbed that covergirl lip stain while I was in stores and this was the color natural blush which these are pretty dark it looks like this so it's definitely it like it feels like you're putting on a marker um definitely a matte but very pigmented lip stain but I think this will be nice to have because a lot of times like if I need my lip to last longer throughout the day and I don't want to just wear balm or gloss this will be a nice go-to I also grabbed the unbrush which I'm excited to try I needed a new hairbrush so we'll see if this is worth the hype and I picked up this adapalene gel from different and it's supposed to be good for acne So I thought I would try this gel as well. It's like a Topical retinoid cream. So that's what I picked up at Target I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely let me know if you want to see me going over Kind of the other stuff too like the clothes shoes and all of that, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys